Hi guys and welcome back. So today I'm out here toying around on the property and I'm just going to do some shooting so I figured why not create a video. I'm actually working on a little project of mine and that project is really about a scout rifle. So if you've not if you're not familiar with that concept just google it you can definitely find a lot of information about it. Um, the whole purpose of a scout rifle is to be lightweight, powerful, accurate uh, at a variety of ranges for a variety of uses and purposes. And uh, rather than invest in a bolt-action rifle, I, I never really cared for the bolt-action for fast, repetitive shots, should I ever need it. I definitely much prefer the good old-fashioned lever action for that purpose. Just the action is so much faster, still mechanical, still reliable, and it's already a very lightweight, very accurate rifle. So, uh, playing around with this rifle a little bit today, and actually I kind of wanted to do a little experiment. So something I wanted to try on this gun was a red dot. So I picked up a very inexpensive red dot just to play around with it see if I like it uh, if I don't like it I'll take it back off uh, but I'm gonna make a quick video here showing you the installation kind of what it looks like and what I'm working with and uh, we'll try it out and see what I think and uh, I'd love to see your feedback your ideas uh, anything else so let's get started okay so like I mentioned uh, I kind of wanted to play around with this rifle a little bit and maybe try to turn into a little bit more of a scout rifle it's already an accurate and reliable gun um, it's a great gun. I love lever actions. I love Winchester 94s, Marlins, you name it. I think they're much better at fast and repetitive shots than, say, a bolt action. So I kind of want to play around with this, Put maybe put an optic on it and see what I think of it. Uh, I've had them with scopes on them before, but I want something a little bit more point and shoot in this case. And I didn't want to spend a lot of money on it. Again, like I said, if I, if I try it out and don't like it, I may not want to keep it on there. Fire Field Red Dot, you can see here it's illuminated one MOA adjustments and a three MOA dot. There's some other brands out there a little bit more expensive. This is actually the cheapest one that I found, but that's not the only reason I went with it. The other reason I went with it is because it's a three MOA dot and a lot of the others are six MOA and I kind of wanted to get something a little bit more uh, refined than that. So we're gonna mount this on the existing equipment and see what we think of it. Now supposedly this site will work with both Weaver and military style Picatinny rails. So We'll put that to the test today because how I'm going to mount it is actually on the existing uh, top of receiver holes for an optic and this red field weaver base. So let's see what this looks like. You can see here that I do have clearance underneath the site, so it's not going to rub the action at all. And it definitely cycles nice and smooth. Okay, so here it is. Definitely a little different looking. Um, don't know if I like it or not, but it definitely still functions fine, at least without actual ammunition. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start sighting this in and see what I think about it. The rounds are not quite keyholed. They're basically right on top of each other though. So, um, and of course I'm standing, no supported, not, a, a, not an unsupported standing position. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and move back. I think I'm on paper well enough that uh, see where I am from about 100 yards. Now I'm set up at a little bit under 100 yards, but that's okay. It'll be close enough for all I want this to do. So let's see what happens. Okay, so I've done a little bit of shooting with this today. Um, it's actually a relatively decent optic for the price. I mean, a, you're talking about a $50 sight and a $10 mount. Uh, it looks a little funny being on the particular rifle, um, but it actually works pretty well. It's got these two locking screws and it's got elevation and windage. 
and you loosen the locking screws obviously to make adjustments tighten them back down and it stays on target it's it adjusts to where you want it to go and it pretty much stays on target so um, I'm gonna use and abuse this a little bit more before I say it you know I would approve it or you know give my recommendation for it but if you got the money to if this is something you want to try if you've got the money that you kind of want to spend and play around with it I'm uh, I'm not uh, regretting that sixty dollars right now so it's it's actually doing pretty good it's a 3 MOA dot and I'm at about 100 yards now and if you go up there and look at the target I'm hitting about three or four uh, about three or four inch group right now from this distance that dot is for the most part covering up that entire uh, 12 inch uh, target down there so uh, you know for for that being the case you know I don't expect it to be incredibly accurate so three to four inches at 100 yards uh, that's pretty good I mean it's good enough to take a large large person or large target down um, now typically a scout rifle obviously you like to be a little bit more accurate than that but uh, for just kind of playing around with it I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with it right now so uh, like I said, I'm going to continue to use it, but uh, might turn out to be a fun little toy if you want to try it. I'll uh, include some links down at the bottom of the uh, at the description here, and you can give it a shot, see what you think. Um, for now, I'm going to keep it on there and keep playing with it. So.